happening everybody? I'm Street, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the staying stories. Now I know the lighting's not that great right now, I'm driving home after work, um, got the sun just blaring through the window over here, another hot day in Northern California, and we'll, we'll, we'll make it, we'll get by. <laughs> but I wanted to fill you guys in on some things, I know I didn't post a video Friday, um, I, I just didn't have any content for the week. Um, so, and I've been just working a lot. I needed a little break. I didn't want to edit. I didn't want to do all these things. And so, I'm so sorry for those of you guys who are, who are expecting a video last Friday. Um, but I've also been going through some things with the car. Um, those of you guys who follow me on Instagram are caught up with what's going on. And uh, some of you guys are following the saga. Shout out to you guys. And, uh, you know, I'll keep the information coming as I get it. So I wanted to fill my YouTube uh, community in on what's going on with the old silver staying here. And ironically, my last video was talking about uh, how I haven't had any real problems with the Mustang. Um, I talked a little bit about some of these common issues that are going on with the 2018 Mustangs. And uh, I hadn't experienced any of them yet. Um, my shifter seems to be fine. My transmission's still a bit notchy. I can't seem to get the guys at Ford to um, acknowledge what's going on with the shifter. I, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, I think it's just basically the. Sh I think it's just you know it's the it's the characteristics of the MT82 um, transmission or or I, I should say the shifter that's mounted to the MT82 transmission. Um, if anybody wants to sponsor me on a new shifter, you should totally hook it up and I will totally post and put your shit on blast all over my YouTube channel <laughs> and my Instagram. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. I'm not, I'm not going to keep fishing for sponsors. Although if you guys want to sponsor me, hit me up. I've actually gotten a couple offers for some sponsors. Um, it just wasn't the route that I wanted to go to or go, go toward with my car. Um, but I do, you know, those of you guys, I know some of those sponsors say that they actually follow the, the saying stories. I appreciate you so much, and I was absolutely flattered that you guys approached me on the sponsorships. Um, just, it just wasn't where I wanted to go with, with the old girl here. So, um, back, to, back to what I was getting on. So, the 2018's been experiencing um, a couple of things. The, the shifters... And the engine um, on some of the 18s, apparently Ford knows that there's a bad batch of Coyotes um, in the 2018s. And um, I think they have acknowledged that, um, but I don't think they have any real answers on what's going on with the cars. So what the cars are doing is they're making this kind of weird ticking sound. And although my camera doesn't do a good job of, I should say my microphone doesn't do a good job of picking that up, um, I found a couple of YouTube videos that really do pick it up and my car sounds exactly like it. So take a listen to this. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know your name offhand, but I will post this video in the description link um, and I'm gonna put a little snippet of it in here right now. So you guys, I'm sure you can hear, especially those of you guys using headphones, can hear the ticking. It's it's not the GDI tick. It's not normal, just, you know, um, running parts of the motor. There's this very specific intermittent, like, ting, ting, or, or like, a, like a tap, tap. It's, it doesn't sound good, man. And a lot of uh, 18s have been experiencing this lately, and I guess what the deal is, is that ultimately it starts off where mine is right now, and then it gets louder, and then it progresses into uh, a, a, a vibration of the motor, and ultimately the motor goes, man, and it's just not good anymore. I, I guess what it's doing is it's scoring the cylinder wall. The piston is actually scoring the cylinder wall. It sounds like a common issue uh, between cylinders five and eight. Um, is what I've been collecting on the internet. You know, I'm not a motorhead. I don't know much about motors. I just know that I love cars and I love sending them. So um, I can't speak on a lot of those different issues. But that is what I'm what I'm collecting is that the cylinder, the piston is scoring the cylinder wall, and ultimately leads to catastrophic failure of the motor. So I brought mine in after experiencing it. 
Um, I got my oil changed at like 2,400 miles, I believe. And shortly after that, I started noticing this clicking sound or this ticking noise. And it sounds exactly like what people describe on the internet. It sounds like an electric barbecue starter. And started doing some research and decided I need to get my car in because I, I, I don't want to lose this car. I mean, it's under warranty. It's going to get fixed. Um, but I want to get on top of it. So I brought it into Ford and I uh, had a little conversation with the guys and I explained to them what's going on with the car. What's going on with it? Uh, the engine's ticking, making this weird like After much talk with um, some people and some research, um, possible piston slap or something. Okay. Maybe something, the short block or something's I guess that's the beginning of the end. <laughs> so I don't know. I just want to, for peace of mind, have you guys check it. Um, it started right after the oil change, okay. which I got like 700 miles ago. Diesel? No, it's not the GDI tick. It's this really distinctive. You can hear it, especially when you get next to a wall, like 3400 or something. 3400? Yeah. Where did you buy it? Yeah. Um, so I left it there all day and when I called them back at the end of the day, you know, to get an ETA on when my car was going to be fixed or when it, when it was going to be ready for me to pick up. And he basically told me that he was like, you know, some of my texts say they can hear something. And, you know, the other half of my texts say that they don't hear anything. Uh, the, the guy that helped me at the, at the service desk was like, you know, when I pulled your car into the shop, I thought I heard something, uh, but I wasn't sure. And it was at that point that I let him listen to the video that I just played you guys. And I was like, this was, this is exactly what my car is sounding like. And he was like, well, you know, we didn't quite hear it. So I was like, okay, well, you know what, if, if nonetheless put it on my file, because if, no, I don't want the engine to fail at you know sixty five thousand when the when the warranty's up, and then be like, oh, you need a new engine. Be like, I've been fucking complaining about this, you know, since thirty thirty. I'm at like thirty four hundred right now or something, thirty four hundred miles. And so he was like, okay, you know, we'll mark it down. And and then as I went out to my car, I put my camera in the holder, I started record recording, and I started moving forward. And there it goes, ting ting ting. ting. And I was like, fuck, there it is. So I just left my car running and I went into the service department and I got the service manager and I got the, uh, the, the guy that helped me at the service desk and I said, Hear it? Tick, tick, tick. I heard it a couple, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. tick, 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 tick. <laughs> It's lower right now. And then I guess it just progressively gets louder and then the motor starts vibrating like violently and then it just, it's over at that point. <clears throat> at least that's how the progression's gone so far anyway. Just one of those things, you know, I wanted to get a jump on it okay, before it yeah. gets bad. <laughs> so you gonna bring it back to us? Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can get a day that I can drop it off. Um, so you guys can hear the cold. So I mean, you can hear it now, you know, but. Uh, like, I, I can't hear it now, but I definitely heard it when you were rolling forward. Yeah, cold start, you hear it just at idle, you know, yeah, tick, 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 yeah. tick, tick, tick. Yeah, that's what we're And doing. then now it's like between like 15 or 1800 to like 2800. You just kind of hear it, tick, 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 tick. Yeah. And then it kind of gets drowned out by the exhaust and the engine, you know, so. All right, well, I'm glad you guys heard it. <laughs> Thank All right, thanks guys. So they heard it. They were like, okay, you know, we hear it. We got to deal with this. So they, they wanted me to leave my car overnight. I, I couldn't, man, I need my car. I don't have another car. And it's not an issue yet where Ford's gonna give me a, uh, a courtesy car or anything. So, um, but they do want me to bring it back in and let them have it so they uh, like an overnight so that they can hear the cold start because it's so prominent during cold start um, that it should be very, very um, obvious at that point. So 
I'm gonna try to drop it off um, next week, probably like Wednesday, and let them have it for the night and for the day and see what they come up with. This is uh, video one of the saga, I guess. I'm gonna keep you guys informed on what's going on and anybody that's having this uh, the same issue or similar issues like I'm getting I'm getting comments from people on YouTube um, and on Instagram about you know my car is doing the same thing please keep me informed I've posted numerous comments on videos on YouTube saying my 18's doing this keep us informed so we're all kind of sharing the information and we're gonna get to the bottom of this dude and uh, we're gonna figure it out Stay tuned for part two. Uh, I will keep you guys informed on anything that I hear, anything that comes of this, um, and hopefully it'll all get worked out and it's going to turn out okay and I'm not going to have to go through some major overhaul with the car or, God forbid, a buyback, dude, because I got such a good deal on this car that I don't want to have to try to fucking negotiate my way into a 19 like I did at this car because I stole this car from the dealership. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Don't forget that notification bell and follow me on Instagram at silverstang707. I'm still posting uh, daily content over there and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.